So evidently, Black Lives Matter is showing all the signs of becoming a religion, and not only a religion, a untouchable religion, something that is above reproach, that you cannot criticize, and that is above every single law. Just ask Governor Andrew Cuomo. He'll tell you that Black Lives Matter is a religion that is above the law. I mean, obviously it is, because Andrew Cuomo is telling bars and restaurants and things like that that they can't have one or two hundred people, you know, there not wearing masks. But at the same time, if you're protesting Black Lives Matter, for Black Lives Matter, I should say, if you're protesting for Black Lives Matter, well, gather all you want and no word of any fines or anything like that. Other religions, you can go and you can sit in your car and social distance by sitting in your car, not making contact with other people, sitting in your car, and you'll get fined. But you can stand shoulder to shoulder with no mask and protest uh, for Black Lives Matter and you're fine. Something is really fundamentally wrong with that. Anytime, anything, I don't care what it is, is above reproach or above criticism, there's something there that makes me want to criticize it even more. Because if you think you're above criticism, well, okay, why do you think you're above criticism? What are you hiding? What do you not want people to see? What are you, what are you doing? Now, I know personally, and I know you guys know, Black Lives Matter isn't a religion. But it sure as hell is kind of being treated like one. If you went overseas to Afghanistan, Iraq, the Middle East... And they had these laws and they had the things with the Koran and things you couldn't do with the Koran. You can't criticize the Koran. You can't obviously burn the Koran, things like that. Black Lives Matter is becoming the same thing. It's, it's getting to that point. How dare you criticize anything? What, you know, if I criticize someone throwing a bicycle through a window and I say, well, what does that have to do with George Floyd? What does that have to do with peace? And someone says, oh, well, you, know, you can't criticize that because they're hurting and this and that and they're expressing, okay. But what does throwing a bicycle through a window so you can steal some shoes have anything to do with George Floyd or anything to do with peaceable protest or anything? It has nothing. It has something to do with the fact that you're going in, you're stealing stuff because you want it and that's it. And we can't criticize that? And YouTube falls lockstep with that, too. Anything that criticizes or is critical of Black Lives Matter is, well, they don't like it. It gets limited. Why? What are we hiding here? And what freaking direction are we going as a country? I mean, my God, people. What are we doing? You can't go to mom and pop plumber shop. But I can go to Home Depot. Why? I had someone explain it to me as, well, uh, space. Okay, I got you. I feel you. I feel you. That's, that's, that's a good way to look at it. That's a good way to go to it. But hold on a second. 25% capacity of 1,000 square feet versus 25 capacity of 100 square feet, it's still the same thing. So why are mom and pop shops not open? I mean, this whole thing, everything is just so bizarre. And then to have Black Lives Matter pop up and be this untouchable thing that you cannot criticize. And if you want to skirt the law, the only thing you have to do is say, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not drinking for the sake of drinking. We're not here in this bar gathered shoulder to shoulder without masks because we're drinking. We're protesting. Well, then that's fine because now you're protesting. What? What in the world is going on, Mr. Cuomo? Why? I mean, and good Lord, he just came out with a big old thing saying, uh, I'm getting multiple videos of people turning people in for businesses being open and not social distancing, and he's threatening to undo the uh, coming out of lockdown and things like that. What? Dear Lord. What world are we living in? Criticize away. And I know, I know, I know, I've offended people with this. But here's the thing. I have a right to be offensive. And you have a right to be offended. Besides, if you're not offended, how do you know you're not challenging yourself? I mean, good Lord. If you go through life and you're never offended, then you're living in an echo chamber and you need to bust out of that son of a bitch. 
Black Lives Matter is not a religion. Black Lives Matter is not above reproach. They are not above criticism. If you have nothing to hide, then you welcome criticism. The religion of Black Lives Matter. Boy, history is going to write this as one of the weirdest times. We have COVID. We don't have COVID. Mom and pop shops, you'll get COVID, but you can go to Home Depot and not get COVID, evidently. How that works, I don't know. It's not like COVID walks along and says, Home Depot, well, they're, they're, they're too big. They're too expensive. They're, they've got too much money. We're not going to go in there. Oh, 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 mom and pop shop down there. That's where we'll go. I mean, come on now. What's the difference? I don't get it. The whole thing is bizarre. And Black Lives Matter? Yeah, of course Black Lives Matter. Everybody's life matters. It just seems like we pay way more attention to the wrongs of one side and almost no attention to the wrongs of the other side. And one side is becoming dangerously close to being a religion. They are taking over buildings unchallenged. Hmm. Okay. Not good. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Criticize away. There's nothing wrong with criticizing something. And if somebody says that you can't criticize something, they're wrong. It's your right. It's your freedom. Criticize away. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.